What's happening, Cheesecake Nation? It's Super Church Funk and Dave, Last Natchez once again. This sound accompanied by our illustrious third musketeer, Tom. Hi, Internet people. Hey, guys. <laughs> Alright, so today we got a four topic, four prong, like a fork, not a trident. And uh, we're going to talk four big sci fi movies coming up that potentially could be big dollar, but. We'll see. Of course, Star Wars is going to be big. Uh, we'll get into that. <laughs> All right, you want to start with Star Wars? All right, let's start with Star Wars. So uh, as of right now, the trailer, teaser trailer is out. Thoughts on the teaser trailer, guys? Any uh, likes, bad. dislikes? I don't know why everyone's pissed about the black guy. <laughs> well, I mean, he said the movie universe and blah, blah, extended universe and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. I could understand. If you literally go by what's canon in the universe... I'd say the prequel there should, should be not no count non at Django all. stormtroopers. <laughs> I mean, it's my assumption that, like, since the Empire is expanding, they can only like, pump out so many clone troopers, so they probably yeah. are enlisting people at this point. Yeah, I mean, it and could I be. say the prequels just never happen. That's <laughs> this is gonna like reset everything for us. No, I hope not. Year. We have enough reboot movies going yeah. on. It's right not here. a reboot style. We're just gonna like make it so it was like how it was. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All we had in the prequels just clean up last episode, last five minutes of episode three. Clean up, delete the droids' memories, kill off the princess. It wasn't even a princess. She was a senator. It's kind of like a princess. <laughs> senator, ex queen. <laughs> yeah, she gave up her queenship. But she wasn't she's a, like princess. a Disney princess. <laughs> she's gonna be a Disney princess. In two she's movies. like what everyone <laughs> thinks Mulan is. And Le Leia didn't even know <laughs> about her. Yeah, she should have. Leia's mom was like that organa lady. It's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I thought the trailer was a little underwhelming. And... Fucking beach ball R2-D2. Right. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> the rolling yeah. pulley floating right thing. That? Yeah. <laughs> that was a little goofy. Um, the tri saber. I don't really mind it. I know a lot of people are like, oh, yeah. what the fuck is that stupid shit? Uh, it is brilliant. It is one. It is all one blade to protect your hands. Because in all the Star Wars movies, everyone has hand injuries. Well, there's like the, from a lightsaber fight. That's true. Well, there's like <laughs> the nodes that stick out of it that kind of project the beam. So if the blade slid down, it should just cut through the node. What? Like it has little things that stick out. It's all one beam. Yeah, but I'm saying like where the beam comes out the sides, there's yeah. little nodules on it. Like that. There's like two little kind of prongs. And if you cut the nodule, you hit the beam. Yeah, but I mean, you're going to hit the nodule and break it. it should, you're should not going to break the beam. It's all one beam. you break the lightsaber itself. No, you're not going to break the lightsaber. That's never happened. <laughs> they cut the fucking uh, double saber in half. That's, that's a prequel. It never happened. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> I don't know, dude. People like Darth Maul. And his, his lightsaber was still working after his cut in half. <laughs> yeah, half of it was. <laughs> half of it did get chopped in half. So yeah. didn't Darth Maul. But they, they didn't stop him from putting them into the Clone Wars cars. He <laughs> not <laughs> <in> that robot <laughs> Non-canon. That's non-canon. I count that more canon than damn prequels. It's part of the prequels. It is part of the prequels. No, it is completely different. It is much better than the prequel movies. It's in between the prequels. It is in cartoon form, so thus it is different. Most of it took place between episode two and three. Yep, all of it took place. All of it took place. Three? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right, so not a whole lot to talk about in Star Wars. Yeah. All right, let's go through a couple quick rumors and what your thoughts are. The biggest rumor going around, Mr. Tri Saber is Luke himself. Thoughts? What? Bullshit. He's gonna be a good guy. Well, what somebody's gotta be a Sith. There are no Sith left. Andy Circus, the guy telling the scary story in the trailer. <laughs> That'd be a Sith. Who trained him? Sithius? <laughs> Sithius. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sithius. Sith. Sith. That's another thing. They never yeah, used Sith. the word Sith in the original three movies. That was something that was introduced in the prequel. Because they're all dead. The only people that knew the word Sith. Or an old fucking guy who died. It's just gonna be weird to bring and it Yoda up like, was like, after three whole movies of not using that term. Yeah, Luke's gonna tell him. <laughs> How's Luke gonna know the word? No one told him. Internet Google? <laughs> <laughs> Space Google. But they're not that quite advanced yet. They are. <laughs> space it's a Yahoo long, long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. The galaxy far, far away. They, they got spaceships and shit. They didn't like, waste their time on telecommunications like us, unfortunately. <laughs> they communicate across fucking planets. We have a very fuzzy transmission, if you don't recall. <laughs> no, I was just because... I can see our R2 D2. Oh, we want in the rain. His like hologram was <laughs> fogging out. He's like, Don't you hear me, Yoda? He's I'm scared of alone. Yeah, but remember at the Jedi Council meetings, like all of them came in in perfect holograms? That's because that was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Alright. 
Um, any other major rumors going around? Did you notice the Millennium Falcon had a new satellite dish in the trailer? Because Lando broke it. <laughs> that's, that's something. That's pretty cool. I did not notice Continuity that. Continuity to the win. <laughs> so... Um, anything else you want to talk about with Star Wars? There's not a whole lot of information out, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that love Star Wars, and I'm sure they're kicking. Because I haven't looked at the uh, leaked art. I didn't want to look at it. Yeah, me neither. I don't want, want any anything. spoilers. Yeah, I didn't want to look at it in case there were Ruin spoilers. My, my movie experience. I don't know if there are. Like, there. I mean, there's got to be some spoilers in it. They're just yeah. that's how leaked art works. But it's Star Wars. They do really, really good at keeping things under wraps. Yeah, but it leaked. It's not like they put it out. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so move on. I'm actually gonna add a fifth topic. Um Play of the Apes going forward. I haven't seen uh Dawn. Yeah, that's something I'm very sad that I, I gotta see it. I'm like the only one here that's seen Dawn. I didn't really care for it that much. No. <laughs> How, well, what was your thoughts on the first part, like the first reboot movie uh I liked Rise of Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I thought Rise was a good movie. That's because James Franco and Caesar had really good uh chemistry. Chemistry between the two, even though it's a CGI dollar, getting better with their Facts. Yeah, it definitely, uh, like, you could tell it was CG, but, like, you were still very invested. But the trailer for Don, like, played up like Gary Oldman was going to have a giant role in the movie. Yeah, they pulled the Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like Ryan Cranes. He's there for trying to blow shit up, and it doesn't happen. Yeah. So, going forward, do you want to see kind of more civil war kind of thing between humans and apes? Do you want ape supremacy and, you know see it from there do you want to see literally like humans arrive in the future in ape society it's all been like done before I don't really know what I want to see I think a war movie would probably be the next step yeah but war movies are usually like montage especially if this is like just building up because clearly we already know what happens well I think we need to see like a major technology shift in the favor of the apes like they have very basic I mean they're riding horses in the damn movie so we need to see them with some sort of technology. Like shotguns. Like Cause as of right now, of the Apes movies. <laughs> yeah, like, it still doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, they conquered humanity. There was a virus. Whoopty shit. Like, <laughs> one guy with, like, an AK should be It was like super AIDS. Entire... It was super AIDS. It destroyed the immune system, made their brains fall apart. Yeah, but I mean, do they ever give a reason why, like, one lone guy with an AK can't just, like, gun down a platoon of apes with their bow and arrows? <laughs> Like, why can't we just send in one F-15 and just, like, wipe out their entire civilization? It is kind of weird. Like, they, they skipped, like, <laughs> that whole entire scene right over in the oh, movie. Yeah, the military's gone. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what it's like. <laughs> They're running out of power and they got to go to the apes to Or they run out of fuel? Like, one yeah, F-15 apes, should wipe out the entire apes. Where the apes live, it's the generator for the people and they have to get there to get the power for themselves. But the apes why does it matter, like, though? Like, is the government collapsed? Yeah. Everything's pretty much gone. So why haven't, like, crazy doomsday people taking on, like, the F-15s out and just fucking wiped out apes? Question. <laughs> they don't really talk about it. So, yeah. Fix that shit moving forward. Cause that bugs me. Like, maybe it's because I was in the military. Like, it's not that hard to steal a fucking tank for the military. Especially if the, the base is fallen. <laughs> like, oh, God, it's got a it's, it's a good thing you added in that last part, because who knows? <laughs> We're going to get, like... Yeah, yeah crashing I, I, into our houses at like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like if the base is active, I wouldn't suggest it. I'm going to get shot. Maybe a guy be flying around at F fifteen and people be like on air trying to get in. But I mean, like you could literally like I drove a paladin. <laughs> that thing would stop the apes. They're not getting through that fucking thing. You can literally just run them over. You don't even need ammo. Well, the people don't really know about the apes. Like there are civilizations of people still scattered across, and the yeah. apes are still in San Francisco. I mean, there had to have been some time in there where somebody picked up a phone and called somebody. They don't quite know the connection. Like, it was all lost. So everyone working at the company died immediately. But, I mean, all these people on the Golden Gate Bridge had to have seen something. Yeah, probably. It's but not the like... apes weren't the biggest thing they would worry about around the whole entire planet because they're dying of this virus. I guess. So the like... virus is pretty much just killing people and apes are eventually just going to slowly take over. But there had to have been some filter time between the two events. Like, did the apes become intelligent as the virus was being set up? Because they didn't really talk about it in Rise. Yeah. Well, yeah, they did get intelligent. Remember, he sprayed the can and made them all really smart? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, the virus wasn't set up, though. Yeah. Like, you kind of had it in, like, the ending scene where, like, somebody was coughing at an airport. Yeah, the pilot. 
Yeah, but I mean, like, it wasn't a fucking worldwide, like, thing. Like, it did become a worldwide thing. We're in the credits. Yeah, but I mean, at the... how it went everywhere. That's literally how the next movie begins with the, yeah. the string theory thing going on. Yeah, but I mean, like, it would still take time for a virus to start killing people. Yeah. Not like a fucking monkey militia that's <laughs> gunning people down on the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> they they hid in the forest. Burn the forest down. Like if there was literally like an army, like if China invaded and was like hiding among the redwoods. <laughs> we I'm, can't even find Eric Holder. How do you think <laughs> he's in Russia? We know where he is. He's not a threat. We just can't get to him. What's he gonna do? Leak secrets that aren't even like true anymore, probably? They, anything that would have been like a danger to us, we've changed a million times. Actually, I think Eric Holder isn't that the black guy that just died? No. What? No. Uh, <laughs> Eric Holder. Yeah, that's the, I know the, what you're the, talking about. Yeah. Eric Holder is the Attorney General. You're talking about Eric Snowden. Yeah, some of it's in similar names. I know exactly who you were talking about. And then there's Michael Brown, who was the Missouri. The yeah, black guy died. And then you had, um, oh, I can't even name off the top of my head, in New York. The I Can't Breathe thing. Oh, the choke guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. right, let's get off. Yeah, I was about to say we're we're delving. We're a going little. to a dark spot. Yeah. All right, that's enough playing the, the shenanigans. Reason. Fix it. When we go to monkeys to black people, what's going on here? Hey, you watch your tone over there. <laughs> get five across your face. <laughs> Don't be a racist. Well, I'm not a racist. I'm just saying that's uh, where we went from. No, you brought Eric Holder. That's where we went from. <laughs> oh my God. I got my Eric's confused. Snowden like the This is why we don't bring him on too often, ladies yeah, yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eric Snowden like the whitest looking guy ever. He kind of looks like the human version of Chaz from Rugrats. <laughs> no, he, he looks like the sexy version of Chaz. Sure. <laughs> oh, Jonathan Snowden. That, that's his name. John. Johnny. Johnny Snowden. Really? Man. Wow. Snowden. I Frosty think. the Snowman. I don't know. I don't remember his first name. I thought it was Jonathan. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right. So, All right. so, Planet of the Apes sounds. Like I know a lot a good of people movie. love it, and it's not horrible at any means, but it bugs the crap out of me. Not a Planet of the Apes. I think the I think the next biggest question is what are they going to call the third movie? Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn, Return of the Planet of the Apes, <laughs> Planet of the Apes Three, Planet of the Apes Forever, Start of the Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Apes and Robin, War of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Planet of the Apes Civil War. <laughs> Put it out there. Dawn of the Apes of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> apes be humans, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> it's a court case now. Dawn of Bananas. <laughs> That's offensive. Take it back. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. This is brought to you by <laughs> Chiquita Bananas. <laughs> Ooh, ah, bananas I love Chiquita. Don't ruin my bananas. Yes, we are in any way to deserve about Chiquita Bananas. <laughs> All right, what are we now? And then Transformers? No, we're not talking about Transformers. They <laughs> fucked that up. Transformers. You guys, you two can watch. Michael, Michael Bay is going to be doing any more Transformers movies. Boo! There All right, you two talk about There's going to be a new one. I don't give a we shit. don't know anything about it. We don't know if it's a reboot or this off, off camera. Nobody really likes the last. <laughs> Nobody liked Digivolving Galvatron. <laughs> just turns little pieces and reanimates. Yeah, that was himself. retarded. That was weird. That wasn't even transforming. I was happy that he was voiced by Frank Welker. Yeah, I cried when Ratchet died. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I know Michael Bay has to kill someone off in every fucking movie. We got Iron Man, Ragil. But why? why? And, why and then you had to go, and then you had to go and show us his fucking decapitated head. Yeah. The he fuck. It. Like, out of all the Autobots. <laughs> like, the fuck? Should have been Bumblebee, I agree. Ironic. <laughs> the doctor gets his head chopped off. Alright, so where do you want to go with the Transformers? Reboot? Not reboot? I don't know. Like, I just can't see them doing anything else. Like, if they're gonna, I'm sick of reboots. Uh, I just again. like want them to stop making movies for a while. I mean, yeah, they just need to stop. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. If... They make way too much money. <laughs> Gosh, let's get right. serious here. <laughs> if they are going to make a new one, doesn't matter if it's Michael Bay, fucking whatever. They're t like, if, and if it's gonna be a direct link from the last movie, it can't take place on Earth. It has to be all about the Transformers. No, it could be on Would you have humans? No. Oh. No, no what I have is, I would have it be on Earth with robots in disguise. I don't want the fanciest vehicles you'd never see in public. Well, I think if you're trying robots. to do Transformers not on Earth, what is the point of Transforming? Mm. Exactly. Because they <laughs> they're called Transformers, right? They still did it. 
<laughs> I know. But You'd like, have to go into the history of Transformers, the Quinn. Yeah, but they're also robots in disguise. Like, there's no disguise. <laughs> yeah, no, but, like, where's Optimus going to be? Because he really left. Hard yeah, Optimus just flew away. Show. He got magical flight gear out of nowhere without a trailer. He just took off. He, uh, he obviously he, learned his lesson after the wire incident. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Transformers 4. I have no intention <laughs> to see it. I didn't like Transformers 2. I didn't like Transformers 3. Yeah, going back to that Godzilla thing, they did the same fucking thing with the Dinobots. Well, yeah, they're like uh, never there. And then like they're the last, the last 20 minutes. Yeah, last 20 minutes of the movie. It's like watching Transformers 1 again with Megatron. There's literally just four comes movies out of just this year that came out with like shenanigan bullshit like that. Yeah, you advertise so much stuff about one certain topic, and then you don't do it. It's there for like, yeah, like two Goblin seconds. Like Goblin in uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh my god, don't get me on that garbage. <laughs> All right, we're not going to make this into a comic book topic, but i got to talk about it, how shitty that was. Like, the entire <laughs> subplot brought up in the trailer that, Pete, why is my dad looking into you? I don't know, guess it doesn't matter, it's not the fucking movie. we got to talk about Peter's dad, the character nobody gives a shit about. Richard Parker? Yeah, I know his name. Yeah, the plot is all does. over the place. They can't stick to anything. <laughs> yeah. And Fix fans it. are like, oh, it's, it matches the comic book movie. That's why Fix Harry's the Green no Goblin. shit. <laughs> Sony, like, you Focus know. on one movie and don't try to tease other movies. Don't try to shell shit well, we don't want. They they want to build a universe. I can't fault them for it, so. We had a great universe with Tobey Maguire. Yeah, but they want to <laughs> expand it out so they can do a Venom movie and a fucking Sinister Six Do a Venom movie about Spider-Man. You could do it. That is what they're going to do. Good. <laughs> yeah, they have very, very few movies left with Andrew Garfield unless he uh, uh-huh. renegotiates. Well, I mean, it's not. Like they'd reboot again. They're going to reboot again? Probably. Uh, I'm hoping they get Will Smith or someone to play Spider Man. That's why they're talking about <laughs> they're probably going to reboot X Men again if they lose uh, Huge Jack Man. Oh, come on. We got so many other great characters. Yeah, but he's Huge Jack Man. <laughs> he's I mean, Huge Jack Man, but. Don't get me a Tommy started because I know he's already going to comic book. <laughs> about. He what? likes Scott, and I like the huge Jack. <laughs> and Scott died, and he wants him back, and he got a super raging boner when he saw Scott Davis' huge and fast. I was, I was pretty excited, happy. too. That was, a, that was something fantastic to see. Scott, Beast, all those people. It was just amazing to see that, but... No, everything bad <laughs> happened after Scott died in the movie. Fact. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> if Scott is not around... Bad shit happens. Yeah, without Scott, Fact. they made fucking X Men Origins of Wolverine. Yeah, oh, yeah. If Scott was there, if that would have happened, he would have killed Scott. Scott was in X Men Origins Wolverine. That wasn't Scott. That was a <laughs> non canon show. No, I'm, we're, I'm saying that the movie happened that was because Scott Gazer died in the other movie. That was that was <laughs> Gazer Bean from Incredibles. <laughs> Holy shit. That was, that was the tie in. <laughs> Gazer beam. Did they like who? That had to. They, they had to know what that sounded like. There's no way. He's gazer beam. You don't know what he's got. Like, so beam. like I understand. Like gaze. Like you're looking. Laser beam. I'm but the cat, Tommy. Pay attention to the video. All right, this is coming way too much. <laughs> you get out this gazer beam. Again. Oh my god. Oh, let's get off gazer beam. Getting Tommy too excited over there. All right, so. Terminator. Oh reboot. god, gray haired Arnie, what the fuck? <laughs> I am an old Terminator and I lose my walker. <laughs> oh, don't worry, they, they made that canon somehow. <laughs> the Terminator flesh shoot ages. <laughs> Is it a reboot or. It seems like it's almost oh, a reboot. Let me explain this to the audience and Tommy. <laughs> Alright, so according to the producers of this shit. Who is the producer? I don't know. Was still James just, Cameron. Right? James Cameron's attached in some fucking capacity. He's a writer of some of the characters. <laughs> he put his fucking thumb in the butt hole. It's like how they attach Stan Lee to everything. He's technically a writer, but he's not yeah. adding any new material. All right, so at the end of this reboot, T1 and T2 will be canon going into this. And this is going to reboot 3 and Revolution. But this Revolution. happens before T2. They go back in time. Well, I know, but... Yeah, but they have a liquid metal Asian Terminator yeah. chasing them. <laughs> Like, I thought it was supposed to be the same character. I thought this movie was supposed to take place during, like, T2. But yeah. then you have a young... Uh, Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor. Yeah. And I don't know if we have a Kyle Reese yet or not. I think that's the guy who they're sending back in time, isn't it? I I'm thought not that sure. was supposed to be the kid. What's his name? John Connor? Yeah. No, John Connor's the old military guy with the scar. I don't know. He's giving his people <laughs> are the people speech. We gotta save the world. Yeah, but Kyle Reese is his father. father. Yeah. So why was he younger? Because Kyle Reese is younger in the future than John Connor. I don't know. <laughs> Did you see the last Terminator movie? Which one? Revolutions? Yeah, where, I don't know. Is that Chris, what it's called? Christian Bale? Yeah, Christian Bale. <laughs> no. 